Hey, what is happening? There's about 35 or 40 rolls of film in that fridge back there, but there's one that I use the most, and it is Ilford's XP2 Super. This is a very special film. Many years ago, I experimented with all different kinds of film stocks, Kodak, Fuji, Italian brands, um, Eastern European brands, all, all sorts of stuff. And I'd come home and I'd develop with my black and white chemicals and uh, had lots of success, found some favorites. But then one day, I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna try this film. And I was a little discouraged because it says C41 process on it. So if you take it to the lab, if you take it to, I don't know, CVS or Walgreens or wherever you can in your neighborhood, uh, they're gonna develop it with C41 process and they're gonna do it at box speed unless you tell them otherwise. It was just something that I was on discovery mode with. So going out and shooting, coming home and developing with black and white chems was awesome. It's really, really good and everything works out if you're just really particular about how you're editing your scans. You know, so my sliders look a certain way, my curves look a certain way, and it looks, and the stock just looks great. So yeah, check this out. The other thing that makes this film really special is that you can change the ISO mid roll. Yep, you can, yeah, you can do that. And after going to Ilford's website, like they say that right there. So I'm not making this up. It's, uh, it's been really fun waking up in the morning, shooting ISO 400. And if it gets sunny during the midday, I can turn it down to ISO 200. And then I come home, uh, maybe a little later, go back out, shoot at ISO 800, and then I will develop it at box speed. Everything turns out perfect. So every developer is gonna have their own characteristics and you're really gonna to have to dial it in yourself. I've only used two. It's Kodak D76 and Fuji's Microfine. Kodak D76 works really, really well for me up until about 12, 13, 14 rolls into it. And then I have to throw it away and make another batch. It will start to get maybe, I don't know, just maybe a little muddy, it's hard to describe. But right off the bat, a new batch, this film stock looks excellent.
microfloin also. I've had to sort of tailor the way I adjust my scans in Lightroom, but once again, everything looks great. If you're into experimentation on how you develop, you know, you can agitate in the tank a little bit more to create a little bit more grain. There's many things you can do, but I will go to digitaltruth.com and I will just search for the film and search for the developer and it'll tell me, um, you know, how many minutes at what temperature I need to develop everything and um, just been working out fine. I've been able to use several different cameras with several different kinds of metering and even with my uh, 120 with my Yashica D everything just looks great. Cruising around Tokyo is very, very cool, and to be able to rely on this film at any time is why it has become my go-to film stock. I love HP5, I really like FP4, I love super fine grain, and FP4 really does it. And let's see what else, Foma Pan a little bit. I also really like Lomography 100, 400. Everything that I shoot with is really good, but you wanna know what, more often than not, those stay in the fridge and this comes with me. I'll have two rolls, three rolls, whatever. If I'm gonna blast off a lot, if I'm gonna just maybe shoot a couple images on my adventures, I can uh, really rely on this film to work for me so everything's easy. My suggestion to you is just experiment on your own. Why don't you go out? Why don't you uh, shoot at 200, then 400, then 800, and maybe 16 all on the same um, same roll of film. See what it does for you. I bought this for 1300 yen, so that's about, I don't know, $8.70 right now in October uh, 2024. So, you know, to me, like back then it was a lot cheaper. Back then it paid to experiment. It paid to trust Ilford's website, Ilford's specs, Ilford's um, sort of, you know, information about what this film is going to do for me. So anyway, that's my suggestion. Go out and see for yourself. Or you can just trust. Anyway, thanks for dropping by. I hope you enjoy the images. I hope that you go out and get the stock. Let me know what happens. And if you happen to use black and white cams, and if you have any secrets for me, let me know. But guess what? Shoot all you want, take it to the lab, come back. You'll be delighted. All right.